Hi, it's Angie. I've been making some butterfly embellishments this afternoon and I really like the way they turned out. So I thought I'd just um, put the camera on and come and show you um, how I did them and how they turned out. Um, so the other day I made some, I stamped some butterflies, this same butterfly stamp, and I embossed it with clear embossing powder and painted them and they look really pretty. And I wondered what would happen if I used black card um, and a, a pearl embossing powder and some um, gold paints. And the paints I've got are the Ganzai Tambi Starry Colours and it's this palette here. Um, really, really um, shimmery paints and I, I, I do really like the way they turned out. So I thought I'd just um, come on and show you what I did. So let's put those to one side. I'm just going to move my paints across just so I don't get any embossing powder in them because they're still a little bit wet and I think that would ruin them and, and that'd be a shame. So what I'm using is I've just got a piece of, I've just pulled out a, a bit of black um, cardstock out of my scrap drawer. I've got some um, a Versamark ink pad and I've just got this butterfly mounted on my block. So I'm just going to start off by just inking it up. And stamping out the image. Quite a quite an old pad, so I'm just going to make sure I've got plenty of ink on there. Okay, I think you can just about see that through the camera. So I'm going to use this um, heat it up silver pearl embossing powder. It's an old is it, um, paper mania one from absolutely years ago. So I'm just going to put on the embossing powder. Ooh. Ooh, that's embossed a bit funny at the bottom. Mm. If I can get a paintbrush and just... do that last time see it's just the bit at the bottom don't mind the bit on the black paper because it's going to be cut out but uh, the bit around the butterflies got some bits where I don't really want it to be that'll do it'll give you an idea anyway it doesn't have to be perfect so I'm just going to pour this back in my pot with that Try not to get it everywhere. Okay, I'll put the lid on. I remember I didn't put the lid on once and I started to put my embossing tool on and it went everywhere. So I'm just going to get my heat tool out. Excuse me for a minute while it gets warm. I'm just going to put it on for a minute. And then just heat emboss my butterflies. I don't actually think this um, Ranger heat it tool is, is as, is as um, hot as the, the other type of tool. I do still have it, but this is the one that's sort of more to hand. But I think it actually takes longer to actually heat emboss using these. Which is good if you want to heat emboss something at a lower temperature. There it's going now. 
I never get fed up of seeing that, you know, when the powder goes like a different colour. Okay, so just move that to one side. Oh, that's my embossing powder here. Ooh. Just get rid of that off my desk. So there we go, there's our two butterfly images. So I've got a little pot of water here and all I did was, oh, you can't see, all I'm doing is picking up some paint and I'm just colouring different areas of the butterfly using the paints, making sure there's no black showing on the butterfly I found that I had to, once I'd sort of dried it, I had to sort of go back in and um, fill in any little gaps because you don't really want any gaps on your finished butterfly. So I'm just, I'm not like thinking about what colours I'm putting where or anything like that. I'm just literally just painting it in. Absolutely love these paints. It's the first time I've actually used these gold ones. I've got the bigger set of the like the normal Ganzai Tambi paints, which I've used quite a few times, but so I'm just as I say filling in all the little segments. One's quite dry. Let's get a bit of this one, the white gold is actually like a silver. As it dries, you can sort of see any little areas that you need to go back in and fill. It doesn't matter if you go out of the lines because you're going to cut them out anyway. So you don't need to be like too neat. So I'm just going to give it a quick dry, let's move my paints over again. about dry. I'm just going to get my paintbrush and just go in and just into those just little tiny edges 
work. Just needs a tiny bit more paint, just a little touch. I'm going to dry that again. I think that's about dry. And then I just cut those out. I'll just do one with you now, just to so I'm not keeping you all on for ages. So that's what it looks like dry. So I'm just going to cut around it, just leaving a little tiny, tiny bit of black. It doesn't matter too much about the black because I'm going to go around them with an ink, which I'll, oops, which I'll show you in a minute. Sorry, I can't. trying to keep in frame and cut out and the camera's getting in the way <laughs> so just just bear with me if I'm not fully in frame just for a second but literally all I'm doing is cutting around this butterfly Now you could just leave it like that if you wanted to but what I did was I got these it's a set by colour box I've had it absolutely years and it's oh, put that one back to front and I'm using this ink here at the bottom it's called peacock gold and all I did was I went all around the edges with the gold so uh, with the blacky gold ink so it actually goes on top of like the embossing on the edges and it does look really nice just highlights it a little bit and then what I also did was I just got it very lightly just sort of tapped it over just a little bit I think I probably put a bit more on than I did normally but it doesn't matter and just smooshed it around with my fingers and it just gives that sort of distressed look that little bit more so that is how I did my butterflies. So I just thought I'd come on and share that with you guys. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Take care now. Bye.